This is an October Glory that we're growing here at Highland Hill Farm. We planted this bad boy in the springtime and they did fantastic. We got them in right at the right time. Sometimes you got lucky and we got lucky this year. Put them in. They were probably three eighths of an inch caliber. They weren't, they probably went up to there and they really filled out real nice, thick and full. We have our irrigation going on through, so if we want to turn on the irrigation, we get water onto them. We put fertilizer on them twice, once when we planted them and once in the middle of the summer when we had some real good rain. And we had a, a good shoot in the early spring come out. And I guess if you can see, and that's basically from here, is it from here there, our prune mark, to there. That was in the spring. And then from here to there is a new flush that they made on. And not always, but this year we did really well with them when we got our our second flush coming on. If we keep on keeping them water, they'll continue to keep on growing for this year. And we might get this up to a good pro seven eight inch trunk caliber on the tree for this year. And we'll, we'll be doing really well. If we do that in the fall, we'll probably come on through and do another trimming on this. If they don't grow anymore, we'll probably just let them go. But if they do continue to grow, we will trim them. But we won't, we'll wait till the leaves fall off and we can see the branch structure a little better before we make our determination on when and how much we're actually going to cut off. Some of them we will have to do, and uh, a good example, I saw them when I was driving down here, but if we see anything like this guy over here with this coming up on the bottom, we'll definitely have to trim that off. off and what uh, do you call that? Well... It's a water spout? That's not really... This is... The, the, these are grafted since they're October glories, so uh, this is coming from the rootstocks. So I don't know what you would call that, but that's we do have to take this off. That's not good for the tree. And uh, we just cut it off, it, the tree will be fine. Some of these lower branches we may limb up, but you don't have to, I guess. You don't have to, but next year, at the end of the year, we we'll definitely will limb them up, probably to about chest to shoulder height. And that'll be the final spot where we'll trim them. We won't trim the branches up any more than that. But if this continues to grow out, suppose that this, this branch right here grows out another six inches, then we'll come back and lop it back so it's not like real uh, loose then. It makes it tighter if we do that. But we'll do that over the winter time when we don't have anything else to do. But that's basically it. Like this guy over here, I would probably cut that regardless here so this branch doesn't get too big. And uh, when we go through and we actually limit up to there, it won't be too big of an injury for it. So that will be cut, but not, the branch will be cut, but this will be knocked back so it's not too big of a branching forming on it. You can see this guy over here is kind of the same thing where I'm worried of. It's a real heavy branch going into it. So we'll probably knock that back so this doesn't grow as thick and as full. And then when we do actually take it off, it won't be a big injury. It'll heal over or grow over, or compartmentalize or whatever you want to call it without a problem. There won't be a, a mark on it. But I would think this is doing very well. Something like this tree here we'll have to work on a little bit. You can see there's no definite trunk to it at this point so over the winter time we'll have to figure out how we're going to either cut some branches out or tape it back up so it's there's one that's definitely strong but that's something we'll have to work on. That's another thing that's making a single trunk to the tree and that's always nice to have. Other than that, it, they, are, they look like a really nice How product. about this tree behind you? What are you going to do with that? Well, that one has, looks like one of the tapes broke off of it. That probably is from a windstorm. We had some windstorms come through here with no rain. So that'll get taped back up? Yeah, that'll be taped back up. That, that's something we have to do. There's one of them over there that the stake broke off. We'll have to put another stake in. So. All right, well, thank you very mu much, Mike. And this is Mike's uh, Red Maple Field here on Ferry Road at Highland Hill Farm. And you can reach Michael at... 267-446-2376. And he'll answer any questions you have. Or the best of my ability. All right. Thank you very much, Mike. Thank you.